Uh, we just we just stayed the night uh, there, uh, sent the coaching staff back early uh, right after the game, um, let them get to work uh, on uh, the plan. Um, and then much like Coach uh, Harbaugh said, uh, you know, I think, you know, I felt the same way, you know, Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, trying to make it as familiar as we have, have uh, you know, just like we've done uh, the entire season, the last two years. And so, um, being in their own beds and being around our own facilities, uh, just the efficiency that it allowed us to have. Um, so we felt that was the best case scenario. And then getting down here, it's been good. Had a nice practice yesterday. Um, good to get in the facility there and uh, get a feel for that. Um, you know, brought some good juice to our guys and, um, you know, had a nice clean practice. And uh, again, got to do, uh, c- continue to build and, uh, you know, have a great day today uh, leading up to tomorrow. Decided to fly right back after the game in Pasadena, um, felt like it saved us some hours, uh, get back to Ann Arbor, get, in our, get the rest in our own beds. Um, you know, it was a lot of the guys to, uh, to sleep in uh, each day. Uh, and then Friday traveled here. Um, that, uh, that approach really is, is, it was the same as, uh, we try to duplicate uh, an in-season week uh, as far as the preparation, what we're doing on Monday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, or Friday. Um, and it had been about a month since we had done it that way. Um, but I think it's good. I think our guys uh, you know, really, really handled the, their business well. I mean, fueling right, getting their, getting their rest, getting their sleep, hydrating, um, putting in the game plan and uh, practicing it. I think we're in a good place. I feel like uh, we had a really good practice yesterday. Guys are uh, guys are in rhythm, ready to go, and one more day today to polish, and and um, then we'll sleep in tomorrow. See if we can't uh, cut the day a little bit in half, and uh, make it like a uh, make it into our uh, into our routine for for game day. But uh, that's probably more similar than uh, it was different. You know, we know what uh, what Michigan's done with their running game and uh, their offensive line and just uh, how it controls the tempo of the game, um, the physicality. Uh, I've always felt that, you know, if your offensive line has is, is, uh, is is got that physical presence to them, um, your whole team probably has that physical presence as well because uh, that's what they're going against each and every day of practice. And so um, the running game uh, is critical, uh, not just to – what Michigan's trying to do, but what we are as well, um, to be able to, you know, offset, uh, you know, anything that, uh, you know, as far as if them attacking Michael and just keeping, keeping away from being in a one-dimensional kind of type of type of uh, spot where it's obvious pass downs all the time. And, you know, the run game helps keep you ahead of the chains, and Dylan Johnson for us is is that guy, um, just like Blake is for for them, and. Um, you know, I think uh, the other piece with Dylan, he's just, uh, you know, such a team guy. And uh, the reason I say that is uh, it's not just about what he does. He's racked up some big games rushing the football, but he's also uh, going to be in there and, and be steady with uh, his pass protection and um, just a heady kid all around. We'll do whatever it takes to help us win. Hang our hat on uh, what we consider our non-negotiables, family accountable tough. You know, you got to be tough to play the game mentally, physically. Um, you know, there's got to be accountability in all ways, uh, player to player, player to coach, coach to coach, coach to player. And, um, you know, I think that it always comes down to, to love. you got to, you know, have a family environment and uh, just those those type of uh, things are what really draw you together. And, um, you know, when it comes down to those big impact moments, um, that trust that you've had because of uh, the communication, um, because you do care, uh, because you have a family type environment uh, that's, that uh, you know, hopefully everyone's been a part of facilitating. Um, you know, I think that's that's those are some of the keys. I know there's a lot more, but the trust and communication, um, you know, leading to that environment, uh, the accountability and uh, toughness that it takes to win, you know, on on the football field. Uh, I think there are some experiences that we've been through uh, where we've been challenged uh, against teams that you know really pride themselves on being physical and running the football. Um, I do think that. Um, you know, Michigan is a, a different animal when it comes to that, uh, just uh, as far as what their intentions are and, and how well they execute. 
Um, you know, a lot of credit to to everyone up front uh, on their offensive line and, uh, you know, their, their running backs. Uh, there's, it takes a whole team, you know. I think we've seen even around the football, it takes everyone when, when, the, when the receivers and the, and the tight ends and, and all of those uh, position groups are heavily involved and bought in, um, you know, playing on a high level, playing physical, executing, um, you know, it makes, a, it makes a big difference. But uh, it's going to take, for us, it's going to take um, guys, you know, um, just, you know, physically tough, physically tough, but uh, also, you know, we're going to have to really execute. You know, we can't, can't be missing gaps as far as, uh, you know, defensive line doing their own thing or linebackers doing their own thing. And, um, you got to know where your help and support's at and uh, just everyone doing their job and doing it at a high level. That's what it takes to, to uh, you know, be able to hang in there and, uh, you know, do a good job against a, a team that runs the football um, like Michigan does uh, at such a high level. And we're going to have to play well. This is a tremendous, tremendous team that we're playing just thorough uh, in every way. Can I talk a little bit about the, the Washington team for a sec? Uh, and I, I know we're, you know, people are trying to talk about this as a, a matchup, you know, uh, their quarterback versus our, our secondary. It's, uh, that's, that's just one. It's, it's um, a thorough team. They are really good. In the offensive line, uh, defense that is physical and tough, uh, secondary that's active, productive, uh, the takeaways that they've generated, and a lot of them come from the linebackers uh, as well. Really good running game. Um, quarterback that has that is special, you know, has the it factor in every way. Um, two teams I, in a lot of ways, are mirror images in that in that regard, in my opinion. I mean, think of ourselves as a, as a thorough football team as well. But um, you know, congratulations to Coach DeBoer, uh, coaching staff at Washington, and the and the players that they have. You can tell they're connected, um, and they they play hard, tough. Uh, it's a it's one heck of a good football team. And, uh, yeah, excited to be in this position. Really feel like these are the two best teams. Uh, they're the last two standing. Uh, and anticipate one heck of a football game.